So we have the Seven of Swords. So you could be an Aquarius or whoever this person is could be an Aquarius. And then you have the Queen of Swords. So you could have said something or somebody said something to you. This could have been a warning about somebody being very deceptive. Like somebody did something to betray another person, but they did it in a tricky way. Now, whatever they did, they did it because they have low self-esteem. Like that person could feel like um, they're not enough or they did it for attention. This could be someone who they don't have any confidence in their self. So they did something to trick another person. Now, this was something that they got away with. But whatever you said, it kind of warned that person or um, it exposed some type of deception, some type of deceit. So this person did something. They came up with some type of tactic or strategy to try to get you back, like get revenge out on you for <clears throat> giving this, oh, excuse me, for giving this, um, this person this warning. You have the hermit. So this person could have ghosted them, stopped communicating with them. They don't talk to this person anymore. And um, they've been in solitude. But while in solitude, they've got enlightened. Like this person, um, found out the truth about whatever you warned them about. Like they've been researching, educating themselves. Yeah, Eight of Swords popping out in the reverse. So they freed themselves from whoever this person is by setting boundaries with this person. This is someone who has a whole new perspective about life. So this could have been some type of awakening that they um, went through or experienced. And they don't view life the same. They definitely don't view that person the same. Yeah, Tower. They've come to a major realization that, um, yeah, this woke this person up. This was an awakening. Yeah. You have the hangman popping out in the reverse. Yeah, this is someone that's enlightened. And they kind of went in isolation because they feel like they failed to take care of their self a certain way or um, they just don't trust people anymore. Like they were undecided, unsure, this frustrated this person. Because they felt like, like somebody caught them slipping or something like that. They were caught off guard by someone that's very deceptive. Now, whoever this person is, they could be a Pisces or um, an air sign. Because we have air sign out here, Virgo energy, then Pisces energy. So they could be any one of those signs. You could be any one of those signs. This person that was in this, you know, deceptive energy, they could be any one of those signs, but they're enlightened. This person is refusing to take any more risks. If they felt like this person caught them off guard in the past. Yeah, this was something that was injustice that was done. Now, whatever this, if you woke this person up, help that person get enlightened. This person got behind the scenes and did something injustice to you. This could have been a false accusation. Yeah, this was a lie. They wanted you to be seen as someone that was irresponsible. Maybe they felt like once this person went through this awakening, they could reverse the awakening, but it did not work. You have the Empress. And you have the emperor. So yeah, this could be your divine counterpart that you warned about someone that was very deceptive that they were attached to. Now they're woke. Now they're enlightened. And um, they made false accusations on you. Could have been on this person as well. If this person decided to stop communicating with them, ignored them, 
um, they've set boundaries with this person and they're no longer feeling stuck to that person or feeling as if they have to communicate with that person, be attached to that person. You have the Knight of Wands popping out in the reverse. If this is someone that they were sleeping with. Yeah, this is someone with the Knight of Wands popping out in the reverse. If this is a, like a hook, well, it was a hookup type of energy, someone they hooked up with from time to time. They, they felt like they were careless. They didn't think. They just trusted this person and this is someone that they should not have trusted. So they're no longer in this Knight of Wands energy. As I say, this is someone who does not want to take any risks. So they've matured a lot. It's like you and this person are mirroring each other. Yeah, and this other person is upset. They don't like the fact that you've given this person some type of strength or they don't like the fact that that person is someone that is strong, strong enough to decide what they want to do. So this could have been something that was done to control that person's mind, make them feel as if they could not do certain things. They were limited or something like that. But yeah, that person is someone it's like they don't like the fact that this person was brave enough to detach from them. And whatever they did to cause deception, it didn't work. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, this is definitely your divine counterpart. And whatever they did to you, even though these were false accusations, some type of lie or something that was injustice done to you, and this could have definitely been a legal situation, you've came out victorious. It's like everything has came into fruition for you. Now, you could be getting ready to get um, some type of inheritance or something like that. Or you're going to be building something for your future. This is your true will. This is something that you were destined to do. And if this is your divine counterpart, you and that person coming together to have this, this Ten of Pentacles is something that is destined. They had to move on with the Six of Swords. This is someone who needed to gain truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords. Whoever this deceptive energy is, they didn't expect for the truth to come through you. And if this is someone who knew that this person had a divine counterpart, they underestimated this. Like they didn't know that if you were woke, you would be aware of what was going on be behind the scenes or um, what was being done deceptive towards your twin. You have the Ten of Cups. And then you have the Two of Wands. Yeah, and it's like after they after they disconnected from that person, their family could have held them up. This person had to make some type of decision involving family or family members that have different paths than them. They don't share the same goals or same values as this person. And they don't have the same path as this person. But maybe they were trying to keep that person held up, keep that person from um, moving on and making the changes now that they're more aware and they've went through this um, awakening. Yeah, you have the nine of wands. These could be people that are dealing with some type of abandonment issues. They don't like the fact that this person is in this energy of standing in their own power, taking action, doing things that they would not normally do. They're not accustomed to it. But it's like once you get woke, you cannot un, un get woke. This is someone who believes in their self and their self-belief is giving them the strength to continue to do whatever it is that they want to do. They want to see change in their life. Yeah, they definitely realize if these are family members that wanted that person to wait, 
these are family members um, that helped this person realize that they were on the wrong path with these family members. Like they don't have the same path as them. They're trying to keep that person on the wrong path because they're dealing with some type of, you know, issues that they need to heal their self. They need to change their self. This person cannot change it. They can change it just like they could not change this person. This person could only change their self. Now, if these are people that know this is your divine counterpart, they could be jealous of the spiritual connection that you and that person share. So they were trying to do whatever they could to keep that person held up at a stalemate so they could hold on to that person. And if they've watched this person do a lot of work on their self, they figure that whatever that person choose to do in life, whatever they're destined to do, destined to have, they'll be able to receive some type of good karma off of this person. Yeah, they only wanted to use you. So whoever the person is that you warned them about, they only wanted to use that person. Nothing more, nothing less. And they freed their self from someone that was only out to take advantage of them. You have true love. Enlightenment. Libra. So you could be a Libra. One of these people could be a Libra. But this person knows that you're their true love. Like while they were going through this awakening, they found out that you're their divine counterpart. You have Capricorn. So you could be a Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. Use your intuition. That cycle has been completed and then blockages. So yeah, somebody is definitely using their intuition more. Things that they weren't paying attention to in the past or they would not normally do. And they've closed out a cycle. Anybody that was trying to keep this person at a stalemate, block this person off from um, getting on the right path and doing whatever it is that they're destined to do. They've blocked these people off. Yeah, addictions. So these could be people that have different addictions. Karmic feminine is here. So there's a karmic feminine that, um, yeah. The person that only wanted to use them, that they closed the cycle out with, that person struggles with some type of addictions. Yeah, very intuitive. They didn't like the fact that you were very intuitive. They didn't want you. They didn't like the fact that you educated this person about something. And now this person realized they were learning lessons with this person. You have Karmic Fran, Spell Work Exposed, and Sagittarius. So a Karmic Fran could have lied to this person. They could have lied to this whoever your divine counterpart is about you um, to try to have that person blocked off or unsure about coming towards you once they found out who you were to them. Or this could have been before, take it where it resonates. But this lie have been exposed. Yeah, this was a Karmic Masculine energy whoever this karmic friend is. You have love yourself. So yeah, whatever they said about you, this could have tried to, you know, get your divine counterpart to believe that you were someone that did not love yourself or something like that. But you're someone that loves yourself and this could be why this karmic friend made up some type of lie about you, tried to create obstacles for you, You've changed and then walked away. So, yeah. You could have made changes and walked away from another person. And whatever changes you've made, this karmic friend did not expect for you to make those changes. They didn't expect for you to be in this energy of... um enlightening this person helping this person realize they need to be more aware and love their self yeah this is a friend whoever this karmic friend and this person was exposed for being a snake um they're suffering in silence they thought they were going to be able to block that person's blessings or block your blessings and now it's like they're panicking 
They didn't know this lie would get them exposed. Now, this could be someone who always lied about stuff to this person, but they weren't aware then. Now that they're woke, they're enlightened, they can't lie to that person. It's like this person can see right through them. Their whole perception have changed. They don't view life the same. They don't view people the same. They were trying to use children. So somebody felt like um, they could use children to try to block your blessings. This will keep that person away from you with boundaries being here. So there could have been some type of lie to make it seem as if you were someone that was unfit to take care of your child or your kids or something like that. Yeah, a karmic friend could have helped another person create some type of legal situation for you behind the scenes. And once they did that, your divine counterpart realized whoever this karmic friend is was someone that was only trying to block their blessings. And they ended up separating their self from this karmic friend. You have hidden emotions. And then you have successful and bad karma. So yeah, this karmic friend knew that whoever your divine counterpart is, they had emotions for you way before you warned them about whoever the seven of swords energy is. So they felt like whatever they did would be successful, but, and they could have celebrated after they did this, you know, they were happy. Yes, this is a goal. This person is not going to come towards you. They're going to stay away from you. They're going to set boundaries with you, but now they're going through bad karma, whoever this karmic friend is. It's like they set their self up trying to set you up with whoever the person is that you warned them about. All of these people were blockages in whoever your divine counterpart's life and they were trying to be blockages in your life. But this is where they manifested a lot of bad karma and blockages for their self. You have courtship. And then you have toil and labor. Coffin. Yeah. If this was a relationship that they were in or they were dating whoever the Seven of Swords energy is, they put the... It's like they, they it wasn't about what you warned them about why they stopped talking to this person or disconnected from this person. They felt like they were working too hard in a connection. And whatever they were doing, they weren't receiving anything out of the connection. There wasn't equal give and take. It's like they were doing all of the work. They were taking all of the risk. And this is why they ended this situation out with Coffin being here. They just felt like it was time for them to transition. But at that time, this waiting period, they took out the time to focus on them. They didn't jump in another connection. Um, and they did a lot of soul searching, a lot of researching. And healing from whatever it is that they endured with this Seven of Swords energy, this karmic feminine energy. You have child and you have concern. Halfway. So yeah, this is just confirmation that whatever lie was told, um, it was supposed to raise some type of concern about your child if you're a mother or a father. They wanted to make it seem like you were someone that was unfit. If they could get your divine counterpart to believe that you were someone that was unstable, unfit, you could not take care of your kids or your child, this would have that person um, held up with pathway being here. That person would be concerned about you and who you are as a person. You have message and you have wealthy man and then poverty. 
community. Yeah, this person is getting ready to communicate with you. It's like they've cleared their pathway, but they had to leave a lot of people that they felt like would support them, um, encourage them, be there for them out in the cold. You have thoughts. And then you have judication. And then you have the gift. Yeah, so whatever it is that they did to, you know, make you be seen as someone that was false. Because these this court situation was definitely false accusations. As, you know, the um, justice card popped out in the reverse. This was something injustice done to you. But you're being gifted. Like something big is coming toward you. This could be a big blessing. Because it was a lot of people that were thinking that this person was going to leave them out in the cold way before this person made a decision to leave them out in the cold. And this is why they did what they did to you. It was multiple people that knew about this. This is sad. This is just sad. And it's like, you didn't have to do anything. You're not attached to your divine counterpart. You're minding your business. These people did it their self. They exposed their self. They've made this person realize things that they did not realize in the past. Their self. And they're under judgment for whatever they were thinking. It's like they were sitting in some type of illusion. Now, this person did not plan to leave these people out in the cold. But now they know they have to leave these people out in the cold. These are people that acted out of fear. They start panicking. And it's a couple people that panicked because whatever you said was true. They just didn't expect for you to say it or warn this person because they got away with it in the past. It's like they felt like that would change everything. Whatever you said would change everything. This person would heal. This person would improve. Yeah. Now they're stressed out, especially if this person have healed. They've ended this cycle out. This cycle is over. Yeah. Everybody that was being very manipulative, whoever these people are that were um, karmic attachments, toxic attachments to your divine counterpart, they're stressed out. These were third parties that were trying to interfere with the connection that you and that person share. And they did this out of fear. Yeah. You have faded meeting and in reconciliation. Yeah. So there's definitely going to be a reunion between you and your divine counterpart. Um, they want to reconcile with you. If they ghosted you in the past, disconnected from you after you said what you said, that person um, needed to go through a transformation before reconciling with you coming in union with you. And this is something that is meant to be. It's a part of your destiny, their destiny. It could not be stopped. This awakening could not be stopped, whether you want your divine counterpart or not. Yeah, surrender. They were eventually going to let go of these people. You have intuition, magnetic attraction, and then you have regret. Yes, yeah, so somebody is in, re these people are in regret because of the connection, the um, bond that you and your divine counterpart share spiritually. And they underestimated this spiritual bond, this spiritual connection, because they felt like they could cause trickery, manipulation physically to keep you and that person apart. They've woken up to their intuition. 
they've gained a lot of mental clarity and um, people are in regret because whatever the plans that they had to um, have control over something that they never had control over backfired. 